So today on the channel, we are doing some more tropical cocktails because Leandro has a tropical itch lately, but we are doing ones that play against your expectations. No rum in this cocktail. We are tackling with blended scotch. This is something that doesn't happen very much in the tropical cocktails canon. You guys are going to love it. Stick around. My name is Leandro Demon Riva. This is the Educated Barfly. Leandro, you always shake to our hearts. Aww. Let's get into making the cocktail. So one note before we begin, um, we are not doing the original version of the cocktail today. We are doing an adapted version by Lost Lake Tiki in Chicago. It's a very influential tropical drinks bar that you guys should go check out if you guys are in Chicago or near Chicago or planning to go to Chicago. Put it on your list because it's fan freaking tastic. Um, I, when I was doing testing for this cocktail, I just thought this would be the best version to do. You know, what's funny is that also another note about this cocktail, which is interesting, is that the word coconut. So it's called the Coconut Grove Cooler, named after the famous Coconut Grove in the Ambassador Hotel in LA, right? But the, the spelling of coconut is C-O-C-O-A-N-U-T as opposed to just C-O-C-O-N-U-T. So it almost makes me want to say like coconut, or it makes me want to say cocoa nut almost. I just wonder if there's much of a frenetic difference. It's basically saying coca. It's like coconut, like coca leaf as opposed to coconut. I don't know. Deep thoughts with Leandro. All right, let's, let's actually make the drink. All right, first things first, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, three quarters of an ounce of pineapple juice. We are using fresh squeezed today, or fresh pressed, I should say, anyway. Half an ounce of passion fruit syrup, half an ounce of dry curacao, quarter ounce of orgia, quarter ounce grenadine, half an ounce of Batavia Arak, an ounce and a half of blended scotch. I think we're gonna use this guy today because uh, this is a cider glass. So I put this recently on our Instagram and I was trying to figure out what glass this was. Everyone thought that it was a pearl diver because it has this ridges on it, but it's actually a cider glass that they, they make. So this is the, I guess, proper way to drink cider. And we found it on Amazon. The link is below. It is a fantastic glass. I just love the way that it looks. And I think it's gonna look really nice for this cocktail. It's gonna serve this cocktail well. So of course, we're gonna just do a little tiny skosh, a pebble, and we're gonna give it a little whip shake. We're just gonna give it a nice dump into our glass. And then top it up with pebble. We're gonna grab a little lemon wheel and a mint spray. Think that's bushy enough mint? Should we go a little bushier, Marius? Slappy poo, crushy pants, give it the old twisty. And then just stick it in there like so. Voila! Nothing's complete without a lightsaber straw. What? Oh, that's, that's that ate the straw. Deep glass. Heck yeah. And you know what's great is that, you know, you get a, like that nice pop of mint too. It doesn't like completely overtake the scotch. You know, I'm gonna put this away so it doesn't melt. And then we're gonna talk about it. Again, we have a cocktail that is like juicy. It just, it's juicy. It just, it's really hard to describe because it has that nice body to it and sort of a savory sweet thing to it that's really nice. It's got a nice amount of acid, so it's not overly sweet and you're not getting that, you know, your saccharine kind of, you know, what I think a lot of people kind of accuse tiki cocktails of being, but it's just really nicely balanced. I don't know how this stacks up to the original. Well, I do kind of from memory, I made the original one time. I think that this is a, a superior version, you know, because here on the show, I don't always like to just make the most you know, historic version. I like to try and find the best version of drinks that we want to do. Uh, and I definitely think this, this kind of takes it, you know, as far as being the best, you know, version of these ingredients. What's nice is that you get that kind of musty, you know, sort of spiciness of the Batavia Iraq. You get that scotch, you know, kind of right up front, but you have this nice juiciness and it's got this just really 
interesting vibe in the mid palate. It's, it's a fantastic drink. I don't suggest drinking more than one of these. It seems like it really packs, it packs quite a bit of a punch. It's definitely one of those drinks where you drink it and you're like, oh, this is good. And you just like down it and then you're very, very drunk, which you know, you shouldn't do. You should drink responsibly. Uh, so there, there it is, guys, the, uh, the Coconut Grove Cooler. So the Coconut Grove cocktail was created at the Coconut Grove in the Ambassador Hotel in Los Angeles, which is now a defunct hotel. And Marius and I were actually talking a lot about like where it was. And I realized that the site of where the Ambassador Hotel is now is across the street from a place called HMS Bounty, which is one of the kind of more historic bars here in Los Angeles. It is now a fancy high school that I actually used to like bike past every day when I was a bike messenger in downtown LA, one of the first jobs that I had in LA. And I actually remember the construction being done on the school and the ripping down of the Ambassador Hotel, even though at the time it didn't really matter to me. Anyway, the uh, Ambassador Hotel was home uh, to a restaurant slash bar slash dance hall called the Coconut Grove. And this particular cocktail was created by the bartender over there named Tom Stenger, who created an who created it in 1962 to enter into the National Bar Master Drink Competition, which he won, by the way, with this drink. Not this drink, but the original version of this drink anyway. Couple of cool things about the Coconut Grove is the Coconut Grove was opened in 1920, and it was basically the C and B scene uh, kind of place in LA, it is, it hosts basically every single, it hosted every single celebrity, a whole bunch of presidents, uh, six Oscar ceremonies. Bobby Kennedy was shot there. But uh, in the 1920s, if you weren't jet setting off to, to, to Cuba to go have drinks with Ernest Hemingway, well, you were drinking at the Coconut Grove. And uh, it had this big dance floor that was decked out with these fake palm trees that they lifted from the set of Rudolph Valentino's The Sheik and they stayed there for a really long time, which is pretty cool. I don't know how they lifted it from the Sheik, but Rudolph Valentino was a regular, so maybe he just like gifted it to the to the bars. They usually just yeah, throw away all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, probably. You know what reminds me of the Coconut Grove actually is a very good visual representation of the Coconut Grove would probably be the intro, the intro uh, uh, scene in Goodfellas. It's exactly like that kind of place. It's sort of like people all around these kind of circular tables watching a show, some of them dancing. Don't you think that that would be like a good kind of representation of what the Coconut Grove would have been like in the 20s? Yeah, or the Rocketeer. Oh, I didn't see the Rocketeer. What, oh, is there a big like dance hall scene in the Rocketeer? Yeah, and it's got like this big uh, oyster clamshell thing and there's palm trees and things. It's, uh, yeah, but... Right, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, that's, that's really neither here nor there. I just thought I would draw the connection or whatever. So I think that's all I got to, I got to say about that, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your week. I hope you were making your cocktail dreams come true. And if we're not making your cocktail dreams come true, I hope you're making your cocktail dreams come true. Thank you so much to our patrons and our YouTube members who make this channel what it is. You guys, what you guys do goes such a long, long way to help us and we really appreciate it. Just go out, crush the week, have a great time. I love you guys and I will see you guys on the next episode. If you like our channel, hit like, hit subscribe, check us out on Patreon, uh, hit the bell icon so you get notified about every video that we post because that's not annoying at all. And you, and not only that, we post really great videos, so you should do that. Um, check out our, 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 Check out our website, theeducatedbarfly.com, for uh, our virtual bottle program, merch, articles, that kind of cool, fun stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Leandro out.